Thank you for continuing this class with me. What should your descriptions do? I just said that they're a big emphasis. I asked the YouTube partner team about that and they said descriptions should read naturally with the most important keywords included in, in the first two to three sentences and then explained further in context in paragraph form. So I'll show you an example of this that I'm doing on my new videos. So on my new videos over here, what I'm trying to do is apply these tips exactly as they gave them to me. I'll show you the C++. This has start C++ programming today. It's got several thousand views. And then what I've got here is I've got everything explained in detail and in context, I've got all these different time points and then I've got some links down here in the comments. Now here's another spot I'm doing this. So these are my tutorial videos. I'm also trying to do this in my live stream. So on this League of Legends video I'm doing, I'll show you here. So what I've got in the description, I've got in the first several sentences, I've put the time and effort in the description into writing it out more clearly as to what I'm doing. Then what I do is go down here and I put the entire video in context. So I say, what is League of Legends? And then I've got a couple of paragraphs here talking about League of Legends in context. So I say League of Legends or LOL for short. It's a video game, 100 million active users, multiplayer online battle arena, MOBA, win a game, game modes. And then I talk about the game modes. I talk about the way to win the game. And then I go down here, how long is a game? I talk about surrendering. Then the point of putting these two paragraphs, these are directly from the YouTube partner program tips. This is a direct question I asked as far as getting my videos ranked. And the answer I received was to explain it in deeper context. So what I, on a lot of my descriptions, have done successfully, uh, which is success is such a bad word, what I've done to get a lot of people to watch my video and to get the videos to rank high is go into detail on every single thing included in the video. Well, what about in videos where it's all kind of on the same topic and there's not all those little detail points? So for example, on this hacking video, it's kind of easy to go break down because it's a video class just like this one. This is pretty easy for me to do this on. I just go explain to you each thing I talk about in the class. But on a gaming video and on some of the videos you might do, there really isn't that much to say about it. You're playing the video game and there's not a need if your video is only five minutes to put in time points for very much of the room. Now, this is a four hour video I did here, so you need time points. But on this one, this is just a live stream of me playing League of Legends. This overall context then helps Google, which Google owns YouTube. It helps YouTube understand where this video fits in the bigger picture. It helps it understand, oh, that this video is of a multiplayer online battle arena. So then theoretically, YouTube could recommend this to someone playing a similar type of game even if they're not looking at League of Legends. So you see on all of these videos on the side, then these are the suggested videos. This is where you get organic traffic on suggested videos. And then there's YouTube search, but there's also browse features. So when you go to your home page on YouTube, there's browse features. And then this is a good way to help get in those browse features to put it in context. Because someone might be playing a different game, but based on this part of the description, YouTube knows this video might be relevant to that person then playing a different game. So if you put the game in context, using or whatever it is you put it in a bigger context so like on a google adwords tutorial i could put more about google adwords generally like that google adwords is a form of online advertising where you pay per click you get people to your website and then when people are talking about different forms of online advertising you'll see there's this complete google adwords tutorial recommended here on the suggested videos on this video. And this video has gotten all over the place because I've taken the time to put in all those keywords. I'll go show you the description on this one. So you'll go down here and see that this, you, you can see how many things there are talked about in here. So there's all these different things I talk about. Taking the time to really fill out a description 
is one of the best ways to get your video ranked higher. This video has over 500,000 views and same thing here. There's tons of different time points. There's a deep description. So if you want to do well with your videos, follow these YouTube partner tips first to get that title and description for your organic traffic. And then the description should read naturally with the most important keywords included right away and then explain further in a larger context and in technical details if possible. These are the two most important takeaways I've got from my work directly with YouTube headquarters and then I'll show you the rest here.